Hi, this is Stephen Brower from Martin Valley Community College. This is for CSIT 256, Computer Architecture and Assembly Language. And this is meant to be the continuation of the overview for Stallings Chapter 8. I just was so long-winded, I, I didn't get to it. Um, and what I wanted to get to um, um, is, well, actually, let, let's, uh, let's dive over here for a second. Let me try to start Task Manager. Um, so I just started the task manager. I'm, I'm in Windows. Um, and one thing I do want to mention is that over time, task manager has had more things built into it. Um, and in, in the old days, a number of things used to have to be utilities that you would have to get because I'm going somewhere with this. Um, but we, you know, we can see how the computer is performing. Um, we also can see things like, um, a lot of glance. I see that I have four cores. Um, I also see the number of threads um, that are running and then handles. When we get to ch chapter 11 and we talk about the Windows API, we'll talk about how the handles, um, every single object on the uh, that we see, um, is, we need a handle for it. I mean, by every single object, I mean, there's a handle for this, a handle for this, handle for each of these, um, handle for each of the tabs, a uh, handle for... Um, um, handle for everything. Anyway, I'm, I'm jumping ahead to chapter 11. Um, the point is that there is quite a bit of information that is available in the task manager. Like here for Google Chrome, we can see it's using a gig of memory, and there's a whole bunch of processes that are within it. But how it's using that memory, at least here within um, task manager, we're not really getting uh, drilling down to that level of detail. Well, there is an... Um, um, oh, that, by the way, something's going to come up here because I did it in terms of the rehearsal. I know it's hard to believe, but I rehearsed. I did this in the rehearsal, and you're going to see it come up quickly. But if we bring up Microsoft SysInternals, Sys and um, usually the first link that comes up is this um, uh, docs.microsoft.com, the, the SysInternals. And what this has... Um, now, there's an overview of all this, uh, uh, but there's a number of utilities that are here um, that something we can use for diagnosing. And if I jump under the process utilities and I go to VM map, um, here's something that lets us see how um, the memory is being managed by uh, the apps. Um, and what I'll do is, is let me download it and then um, start it. Okay, so in that little pause, I downloaded that VM app, which was a zip file, I extracted the zip file, and um, there is an executable here. One other thing I want to do before I go and run that, um, I am here in Visual Studio, and I just have this, this is a silly little, actually this is my drop-in office hour one that I'm going to use for part of this demo, um, but um, if I actually start running, uh, this right here um, and is still in memory, the project exe is um, is running. So if I start this VM map um, and one of the things we do is we pick what is the process and when we're in it we can actually go and pick another process. But let me go and pick the um, oh it's not in memory. That's my problem. Hang on a second. Let's, let's pause this again. Um, actually, let, let's do the complete train wreck. So let's, let's, let's pretend I didn't figure out what I did wrong, but I know what I did wrong. What I did wrong <laughs> is the program had stopped running. Um, so suppose instead I had um, call read int. And that will leave, so EAX will have um, what user entered in. And um, oh, let's just for, for giggles and grins. So message, byte, enter, enter something. <laughs> and I'll add here. Uh, move edx offset of the message and call. I'm not putting comments in here. This is a uh, try to keep it under 15 minutes time. This already is painful enough. 
Um, and so if I did this right, because I'm talking and uh, coding, which is really bad, um, and now run it again. Ah, okay, now it's still running. Okay, now that it is still running, now if I come back over here and I do the refresh, I should see here's project. So that project is this one right here. This is because it's still running in memory because um, right now it's waiting for me to enter something. But what I can do is in this VM, VM map, take a look and see um, how this process looks from within the VM map. Now I'm going to have to go and try to resize this to fit into the, um, and actually it won't let me bring it down any further. We'll have to do a little resizing. Uh, but I'm trying to bring it into the window that which I'm recording. Um, but what this would be is at a glance, this would be the memory that um, my program um, is using. And in the bottom part here, if I scroll down a bit, this part here, which we see, these are a whole bunch of DLLs. A DLL is a dynamic linked library. And um, it's something that, now if you notice, here's the kernel 32, here's the user 32. Um, these are um, in terms of the operating system uh, uh, itself. Um, and what a process will do is it'll look in memory first to see is this a DLL, this dynamic link library in memory. And if it is, it'll use it. If not, I'll actually have to go and load it in. But what this is letting us see is for the process that we have running here, it'll let us see what are the DLLs, the dynamic links libraries that it's using. Um, we also can see um, the um, data. So there's private data that we have here, and we have actually multiple pages of it. And within this app, we actually can go in and uh, drill in a little bit uh, deeper on it. Um, well, let's, um, okay, so this is our, um, so we're using, um, 1.1k, uh, I'm sorry, no, unusable, what we're using, 4042k, okay. Let me change processes. So let's go select the process. Let's pick, um, it's the largest one for Chrome. <laughs> Let's just pick this one. Oh, this one here for Chrome. Let me just go and pick that one. And we see, um, well, it's using a hell of a lot more <laughs> memory. Uh, but then we can see, look at all the, uh, those. Um, and I didn't, I didn't, uh, I didn't look at that in the project that we did before. But look at all the threads that are running. Um, within this application. Um, here's the shareable memory. Here's some private. Here's some heap. Well, it just keeps going on and on and on. So this Google Chrome is using a ton of memory compared to what our little um, application is, is using. Um, so what I'm just really just doing for, for giggles and grins, but what I was trying to point out, not necessarily well, um, is that from the Sys internals site, there's a number of utilities that let us see aspects of, well, within the operating system itself. That particular one that I did, this VM map, is showing how the virtual memory is being used for an application. And so it actually lets us see um, what a particular ap application is using. Um, this can be helpful if we're doing troubleshooting, troubleshooting. Um, if we're having a uh, rogue application that is maybe just using too much memory or or uh, or there's a memory leak or something like that, um, the, those kind of things, then we can detect through um, something like this. And so I'm sorry for the huge aside, uh, but it's the kind of thing, um, hopefully what I did is I made you aware of those utilities. You may find some wonderful utilities that um, I haven't even gone through because they keep periodically loading up different um, utilities here, um, but they haven't broken down, you know, disk utilities, networking utilities, uh, process utilities, of which this one is under the process utilities. And um, what, it's, what it's meant to be is for diagnostics. It's meant to be for peeking and seeing how um, things are working. It's not meant, intended for being malicious. Um, it's just sometimes, though, we are looking, like right here in Chrome, we're seeing a hell of a lot more for, uh, in terms of Chrome than maybe we ever saw uh, previously. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll shut up now.